I'm going to give all praises, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone and the elders and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad. Shalom to you all. And um, here I have um, divorce.com. I got got uh, got this from the brother Kakum <clears throat> from our camp. Uh, he did a lesson on it and I asked him to send me the video. And, um, you know, we get on a black woman. And, you know, I just want to just highlight one thing from this. Um, you know, wherever I really want to highlight one thing, but, you know, the spirit lead me, you know, kind of want to, you know, you could touch men, uh, different bases on this article, but um, I'm going to touch, touch on one thing. And um, which is, uh, it says black woman divorce at a high rate, 38.9% than women of any other race, any other race. So the black woman, uh, nine times out of 10, if you marry a black woman, all right. Well, this, this is statistics. If you marry a black woman, you you're more than likely you have a thirty eight point nine percent chance that she's going to divorce you. All right. And, you know, kind of, you know, kind of think spiritually about it, because, you know. Looking at it from face value, you'll say, damn, well, you know, the nigga woman ain't right. You know, this and that. Well, she, from the beginning of of of, human, of 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 our existence, it was Eve, right? We we know that, <laughs> okay. But the Most High and His Son didn't set the woman up to lead, okay. The the, the, the re one of the reasons why we're here in America is because the men of our nation rebelled against their husband. OK. And, and that's just uh, the, that's just the facts. All right. We, we we get into how the men are the leaders in which we are. OK. Starting with the so-called black man. All right. The tribe of Judah on down. OK. We, we, we belong. You are the wife of the most high. And we rebelled against uh, 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 our husband, our father, Yahweh. And this is why we're here in America. OK, this is why uh, we we've uh, uh, got our ass kicked by the so-called white man. All right. <laughs> you know, and, and here it is. You expect that the Lord is going to give you uh, a perfect uh, relationship, a perfect wife when your ass, you know, when our ass done done rebelled against them are you out of your goddamn mind the reason why women are so damn wicked <laughs> is because we we sinned against our power so the lord basically said well since you you, you think okay you're my wife and you you acting up well guess what i'm gonna make your wife act up okay what does the scripture say i will bear the indignation of the lord because I have sinned against them. That that part of that indignation is your woman being weaponized. <laughs> yeah. You know how we call Eve the pit bull? Esau's pit bull? Yo, our women were weaponized against us to, to it's in it's in the curses. It's in the curses that um you know we would have uh uh we we our uh the fathers would leave the homes. All right. It would be a, a disruption in the family. Those are curses, man. Okay. You you should be you should uh, get a wife, and, and you should not lay with her. All right. The scriptures say that a wife should be a harlot in the city. Okay. The, the, the heavenly Father, he he put it on us for for disobedience, man. All right. The scriptures all they all, they all tell us they give us game about the woman. Solomon ran his experiment on a woman. He say he haven't found one 
So we already know what the woman is about, man. It's time for the Negro man, Latino man, and the Israelite man to come back to your God, man. To be a man. To beg the Lord for his mercy. It's time for, 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 because the Israelite man, he's a, Israelite man is very immature, man. Israelite man, when I say Israelite man, I'm talking about the, the, our, the tribes, the men of our tribes, man. If you're not serving the Lord, you, you out of your purpose, man. You out of your purpose. Okay, and you're going to continue to to have, uh, and our, our people, they got all fucked up relationships with their wives. Why? Because you, you don't want to come back to your power. And I'm not saying that uh, we all going to have a, a perfect relationship because we're not into the kingdom of heaven. But the heavenly father is not going to, here it is, you, 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 you he going to give you your, he your heaven on earth and, and, and your ass, you know, you got to come back to your God, man. Okay, when you go into Isaiah 1, he's going, the Lord is going into, he basically, you know, talking to Israel. And when you go, it's, it's Isaiah 1 and 2, it says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahweh have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Now, let's look into that word children. Let's see what that's talking about. Son, grandson, child, member of a group, son, male, child, grandson. Okay, starting with the man. You Israelite men. Okay, you start in the ancient world. Women didn't uh, 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 have no fucking say so. When we were... Um, before we were hauled off into these different captivities, what were we doing? I, idolatry. Who, 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 who were setting up the groves and who, who, what? It was the men. <laughs> Being wicked as hell. Idolatry, man. Doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. So when you see these uh, statistics on, and I, you know, I was going through them this week, going into how. You, 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 you getting a lot of men are, are, are taking DNA tests and they find out the child isn't there. That's a punishment from the Lord, man. I will bear the end of the nation against the Lord because I have sinned against him. OK, our women being weaponized is a part of the punishment, man. That's a, it's a part of it. <laughs> you know, you, hey, look. Of course, you know, we sometimes we get a little emotional about it because, you know, hey, the Lord created it for us to, to for us and a woman to, to be together, man, to become one flesh. But when you look at the, the, the family structure of how these things are going, it's it's a curse, man. And it's punishment. OK, the black woman is out of order because the black man is out of order. <laughs> OK, the leaders are out of order. You expect the black woman to be in order and look at look at look at the, look at the, look at the men of our nation, man. Even in Israel, even oh, saying that the Israelites, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. The men out of the, 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 the uh, truth and the men in the truth. Come on, man. <laughs> but we're going to sit up here and act like, like, you know, nah, men need to be held accountable for their actions. And the women are going to be held accountable, too. Why? Because women, women are going to die, too. But it starts with the men. It starts, right? The children. <laughs> what, what is it? Son. <laughs> okay. You know, the Lord going into how Israel is hard-hearted and stiff-necked. And what does it say? I'm jumping down to verse 20 to 21. 
How is the faithful city becoming harlot? Okay, well, you went a went a stray heart, uh, being being uh, going into other gods, which is idolatry. In which there is no sacrifice for idolatry, man. You were you you were supposed to be put to death for that. It was full of judgment, righteousness, large, large in it, but now murderers. <sighs> Thy silver has become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes, here's the point, thy princes, what is a prince? The rulers. Let's go look up the word princes. You know, because, hey, we got to bring balance to these things now. Come on now. We get on, we get on Eve, but these men are, com our men of our nation are completely out of order. And the most high, he's going to smoke their ass. He is. But how the hell we, we expect our women to be in order, but the men are completely out of order. <laughs> they got no standard to, to look at with majority of them, you know? Prince, ruler, leader. Are women leaders? No. Chief. Are women chief? No. Are women captains? No. <laughs> okay? Noble officer under the king, the general, the commanders. Everybody want to be, have these high titles. The commander, the general, the, the this, the that, the that. <laughs> you know? We got a we got a, a heavy responsibility, man, for us to uh, walk as our, our righteous forefathers walked and be men and up, uphold righteousness in the earth. Especially with all this wickedness going around, okay, to 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 be uh, 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 basically hard-hearted against wickedness, to to I mean you know to stand against it, and no matter how corrupt this world's get this world gets, and how sick and freaky it gets, we're supposed to uphold righteousness in the earth, man. And this is what the Israelite man's supposed to do, Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. The whole duty of the man is to fear the most high and keep his commandments. A majority of the Israelite men on the planet, they aren't doing that. But everybody got a fucking podcast. Everybody got a podcast. Everybody talk, you know, in which, hey, the black woman is out of order. But the same lips that these niggas are talking about, uh, 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 the women are, are crazy, which they are. I'm not defending them. Nigga, yo, the Israelite man need to get his shit together. He need to come back because the majority of our people know that they're Israelites. <laughs> you know? You know, just going to that word princess. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone love of gifts and follow afterwards. After rewards, they judge not the followers, neither doth they, neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Okay, the next verse. Therefore said the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, I, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. All right, so the Lord... He, Hey, it's time to come back to your power. In truth and sincerity, man. Okay? Now, things ain't, ain't going to be perfect. The woman going to get her order once, once this shit break, uh, all hell break loose. The Lord side will make a man more precious than fine gold. See, the woman, they follow the power. Esau's allowing our women to act like this. See, but when all hell breaks loose and the Lord gives us power, Okay, when he makes us more precious to find gold, okay, that's why we got to continue to work on ourselves so that we could be vessels fit for these prophecies, man. Be vessels fit for Isaiah 4 and 1 to be able to lead in righteousness, man. Because these women, they, 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 at a snap of a finger, they, they, they're going to be, uh, uh, they, uh, they're not going to give you a, a hard time when there's no food in the store. You think a woman going to be talking back? When she can't go to the supermarket? Come on, man. 
You think she gonna be a uh, flip at the mouth when, when people are laying dead in the street? No. Of course not. <laughs> okay, we are the pride. You know how we say we the pride? So the main focus is always on the Israelite man. The Most High is looking at the Israelite man. Because we're the leaders of the, of the world. Not just our nation, the world. This is our world. The Most High created this world for the Israel, <laughs> for the kings of the earth. The earth the, <laughs> starting with 144,000. Yahweh Shai first. Okay? And, and the women under us and our children. This is our earth. <laughs> so we got to act a, a, a certain way. Okay? We're held to a higher standard than women. So when you when I look at these, I just, you know, I think a whole nother way. I, I look at I look at things a whole nother way. Women weren't acting like this in the ancient world. Come on, man. After King, you look at read the accounts of King David having when his woman got sick out the mouth with him. You think when people heard of, of heard about stories like that, you think uh, fear didn't go through Israel with, about that? <laughs> Come on, man. We're just in captivity. These women are going to snap out of it as soon as, as soon as this shit hit the fan. But it's, the focus is on the kings of the earth, man. And that's us. All right? Shalom.